look at this pretty dress from the thrift store. How cute is it? Here's a better mirror to be able to see. My bra is showing because it's not my normal bra. So that kind of messes with the look a little bit. But yeah, I'm really happy with this dress. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Keegan is a baby. 7293. Yeah, I know. Yep. Uh, he's not happy that Tomorrow is his 29th birthday. That's my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great camera angle. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. <laughs> You can really oh, yeah, see the me. you can really see the dust on that window. Clothes with those like weird oh, graphics. That's my mom. That's my mom's house. The Christmas, yeah, from Kevin Bourne. Is that Ellen? Oh, there she is. Oh, well, we got mom commentating now. Yep. And here's the other one. The other best of all? Yep, the knitting in. There's the, the child. The new child. The new child. <laughs> and then you God, these 90s clothes. They're so. Look at his pants. So 90s. Fun fact, my vlogs are inspired by the way people would just film everyday life back in the 90s. including water. <laughs> How does it feel to be 29 today on your birthday, June 5th, 2022? It feels like three and a half bucks. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? <laughs> Better than two. Yeah. What are you going to do today? I'm going to be present all day long. That's what you always say on the vlog. It's because it's true. <laughs> Today is June 6th, 2022. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Um, just worked a little bit more on my left hand drawing of Shitten. Moved the eye down. It looks a lot better. Um, I woke up really late today, so I'm behind. So I gotta quit now. I'm in the process of emailing back and forth with two different vegan printing companies to see what I need to do to get my first samples of my first shirts and that's really exciting. Something that's always great about June is the daisies come out. 
so I was just taking the trash out, right? And then I saw my neighbor's parents um, outside the home. And then I thought to myself, my immediate initial thought and our initial thoughts are usually the ones that are programmed into us by society, right? So my initial thought was, hey, that's not fair. They're not paying rent. How are they allowed to live there, right? And then right away, my second thought, which was my real thought, how I actually feel, was, wait, who cares? Well, how does that affect me? Why do I care? So what if people want to live and not pay exorbitant amounts of rent? So what if people want their relatives over because they have a newborn baby to help take care of the baby? And then it made me think about how in order for this pyramid-like way, this pyramid-like structure that our society runs on where very few people are having power and money and control, such as in this example, the smaller example, the landlord, because we share the same landlord, right? It's so funny how not only do they succeed because they're in our heads so that we police our own selves, but they also succeed because we then police each other. And why? Under the guise of, well, that's not fair. I don't have this and that person does. And then we think that other people have to suffer just because we're suffering so that it's fair. When in reality, it, whether someone else is suffering or has a bunch of blessings doesn't give or take away anything from what you have in your situation. So it makes no sense to even have any thought about it. And so it's just very ironic because we're looking at each other thinking about, oh, what's fair and what's not fair, instead of looking at the ones at the top, which obviously there's a lot of unfairness comparing the top of the pyramid to everyone else. So they have successfully brainwashed us to turn on ourselves and on each other rather than against them. Wow, so June 2022, I asked, how can I be more in alignment? The first card I got was a seven of swords, which is like deceit and lying. I asked for a clarifier. I said prioritize. So I thought, well, shit, I'm not being honest my, with myself, with my priorities. My priorities are not honest in an alignment. And then I got some more cards and some more clarifiers. And basically I need to follow through on my word and what I say I'm gonna do. And my ego is getting in the way with feeling like I have to be competitive and disconnected from others. Um, and they're telling me to prioritize my stuff and believe in myself and take better care of myself. And then here's like a clarification sort of for my priorities too, which is to make art, <laughs> unsurprisingly, movement and self-care. Um, to be more confident, um, I have to have a breakthrough on healing my trauma. Um, and then there's a lot of messages about just committing to something for the long haul, having longevity, and being secure, not worrying about it. The money will come. And then I asked for a more word, and then I got temporary, clarified by the chariot reverse, which is just about being lost and unconfident and stuff. And I'm going to be... That is temporary, but I'm going to be moving into the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is like, you know, having the realistic plan and working and having my shit together, basically. And then to wrap it up, I got this easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. And it was just telling me again to prioritize. I got like several things saying to prioritize what projects are true for my heart and to not care what anyone else thinks and to realize I don't need to rush or force any of my goals to happen and yeah so that is really nice to hear
Oh, and to not let perfectionism and an idealized sense of reality make me disappointed with the now and therefore also that perfectionism make me put off doing the things that I need to do because I know what I need to do. So it just goes along with the lessons that I've been learning lately about letting go of perfectionism and prioritizing and discerning. So very on point with what I've been going through for sure. So I wanted to ask a little bit more besides, you know, making art and movement and self-care. What should I prioritize? And I'm basically getting messages to quiet my mind and to don't do anything out of guilt or obligation and to exercise and to stop underestimating, my, and underestimating myself. Um, and to look at the bigger picture and don't be all talk, no action, which is kind of like also what I get from this and the whole priority thing going along. And to also have more fun. And then I got this as a trigger, so I pulled clarifies for that, which this is really cool. This is the right choice. Don't give up, you can do it. So I feel like my mind triggers me to think that my life choices are not right and to give up and that I can't do it and I need to be more confident and look at this powerful group of cards right here about just having a total breakthrough and going after your goals but yeah this reading kicked my butt a little bit I just need to like follow through on what I say I want to do basically and it's time to really truly prioritize work and making doing everything I need to do to make my dreams come true. I mean the fool itself is just about going along your own uncharted path, what's truly you, not what you've been told to do. Not getting distracted by the outside world but doing what truly fulfills me from a deeper place in my spirit. And just having the strength to go along the path. Look, we got the breakthrough card, and then we have judgment, which is all about breakthrough. See, it even says breakthrough here in my book. And I want to read a little bit of here. I love this part every time I see it. But no more fears, no more doubts, no more self-judgment. Love that. And the star is just a confirmation of basically living my dream life in every single aspect of life, being healed and successful and happy and magical and beautiful. So yeah, I really love this whole reading. I love it so much. All right, so I am unofficially done with my left hand drawing. First time I've ever tried to do a left hand drawing and actually really put effort into it. Um, it's cute. It's cute. Again, drawing is more about your visual skills, proportions, ability to translate what you're seeing as far as light and dark and all that shit. Not so much your physical skills. By the way, I am right-handed, just if that wasn't already abundantly clear. Hello, today is June 9th, 2022. I'm still resting my right hand. It's been a while now, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't really feel like drawing, so I just did some not very high effort doodles and sketches. I was trying to draw some faces and it just, I was just like, ew, no. <laughs> I said, blah. Um, I drew these little pigs. I didn't try very hard and yet they're still cute because how do you not make pigs be cute? They just are cute. <laughs> Here, by the way, is my officially finished left hand drawing of Shitten. I think it looks really cute. I love how it turned out. I always save the scrap paper after I trim a drawing to put it in a frame and whatnot for doodles and practice and sketches. New notebook time. Look at this. Recycled cover, bamboo and sugarcane, printed with soy ink, compostable, 
and recyclable. And then this one is printed with soy ink, it says it in the back. This is really the notebook I should be getting, but I got enticed by this one. At least it's vegan ink, but this one is, look, 100% recycled soy ink. And it's so pretty. And look, it has this sequoia. It has a little ladybug it's meant to be. Nope, too many mosquitoes. So I was laying out my probably most life-changing books for a picture to post because I just have to share. These are the incomplete list of my most life-changing books right now. It is June 14th and I'm finally drawing with my right hand for the first time in like a couple of weeks, give or take, and 
so that's nice but I'm not overdoing it I'm still resting my hand in other ways and not going too hard but yeah I'm just kind of like lazily throwing in something for their feet to stand on so that you're not wondering where's their hooves where's the rest of their legs that doesn't make sense just uh, as much as I need to and no more to make it make sense and she did this right here Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope that you feel inspired to take pause when the first thoughts of judgment pop into your brain for both judgments against yourself and judgments against others. Cleanse it away. I also hope that you have at least a few fun things planned this summer because life is meant to be enjoyed. If you are not yet vegan, watch the free documentary Dominion on YouTube or at watchdominion.com and listen to the TEDx talk, Every Argument Against Veganism. Also, be sure you're subscribed to my main channel, Alicia Demi. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye!